When you have a single point of redistribution into OSPF, the metric type that is being used won't matter. It could be E2, it could be E1, it's not going to be a big deal. However, when you have multiple points of redistribution into your OSPF domain, then the metric type does matter. And we can see an example of that here. Let's say we're performing redistribution at this point in our network. So let me draw a line right here. So on this side, we're using EIGRP, and on this side, we're using OSPF. So we're redistributing on both those routers. What is going to happen in this particular case? If we're using E2, if we're using E2 as the metric type, and let's say our metric at redistribution is the default of 20, then this router sees it as 20, this router sees it as 20, and this router sees it as 20. Which of the paths are going to be utilized? Which of the paths are going to be utilized? Well, it all depends on what's going on behind the scenes. Let's say traffic arrives inbound right here, destined for the EIGRP domain. The router sees that it, there are really two different paths that can be utilized. And the metric says 20 for both paths, but it'll only load balance if the following exists. And that is, number one, the metric type is E2. Number two, the metric is the same. So in this case, it is 20. And number three, the path to reach the autonomous system boundary router that advertised the redistributed routes is equal. So the path from here to here has to be the same as the path from here to here to do load balancing. However, if that is not the case, let's say we have another router here, is load balancing going to occur? And the answer to that is no, the load balancing is not going to occur. Simply because the paths to the ASBR are no longer equal based on cost. If we're using all gigabit links here, then the cost is one and one, so two, and the cost is one, two, three, along the bottom path. So then this router would choose this path every single time. So load balancing is not occurring unless everything is 100% equal. Now what happens if you use E1 instead of E2? Well, when you use E1, your metric type changes. And the way that OSPF treats that metric is going to be different. The metric is now going to be cumulative for all the different links. So with E1, if the redistributed metric is, or the seed metric is 20, this is now 21 over here. This is 21 over here, because all our links are going to have a cost of one in this example. There's 22. So this is 23 on this path and 22 on this path. So which path is going to be chosen? The path with the lowest cumulative metric to reach that particular destination network. So you really have to analyze your topology when you are experiencing suboptimal routing. Your routers may be using an ASBR that they're not supposed to be using to reach those external autonomous systems. You'll have to be able to analyze the topology. Look at all the different costs using commands such as show IP route to see what is the route that's being used, what's the next hop. Look at the paths using trace route to see which path is truly being utilized. And then modify those metrics if you metric types if you have to. Use E1 if you want to make sure that all of the costs are cumulative from that redistribution point right up through every single router in your autonomous system to make sure that you have hyper accurate values when your routers are making decisions. Because if not, you're using E2 by default. 
And when you're using E2 by default, as soon as there becomes multiple paths within the topology to reach ASBRs, as we see right here, that ASBR may be choosing the suboptimal path. It may be choosing the wrong path. It may be sending traffic to your backup router, your backup link, to your backup ISP, and you don't want that either. So it's important to, to understand the difference here between the metric type of one and the metric type of two. Routes are still gonna show up in your routing table, regardless of whether they're type one or type two. But it's the suboptimal routing issue that you're gonna experience from the fact that the wrong ASBR is being used as the exit point. So how do we modify the metric type for redistribution? Well, there's two ways we can do it. We can either attach it right to the redistribute command or we can specify it in a route map. So let's look at the output of show run pipe to section router OSPF. And we can see from this output that the metric type has been attached right to the redistribution command. So redistribute EIGRP100, we set the metric to 35 during redistribution, and the metric type is one that we've set here. 